What's up everybody, it's Matt from TDM Style here. Welcome back to the channel, and today we're taking a look at three items from Blue Atlas Skincare. Now, Blue Atlas has a pretty big lineup from, you know, serums and under eye sticks and deodorant and shampoo and all kinds of skincare stuff, aftershave. Um, I have three products here today, what I would consider to be kind of skincare essentials. We have their Volcanic Ash Face Wash, their Moisturizer, and their Exfoliating Scrub. So before we get into the products themselves, uh, Blue Atlas is marketed as a skincare brand for the modern man using science and a lot of natural ingredients to come up with what they have. They do also have this kind of like take a skincare quiz thing on their website if you don't really know what you need. Um, those can definitely be helpful, especially if you're new to the world of skincare and you're not really sure you know, what your skin type is or what products you should use. With that being said though, most of these, um, so like the volcanic acid Volcanic ass. It's not that. That'd be some serious booty. <laughs> uh, I'm a child. Um, the Volcanic Ash Face Cleanser uh, says suitable for all skin types from oily to dry. Um, the Moisturizer says suitable for all skin types. And the Exfoliating Scrub doesn't say, but everybody should exfoliate from time to time. Now, all of their products, they have this thing on the bottom of their website. So this company is based in New York, here in the USA. They make everything right in New York, so that's cool. And they have this little blurb that says, the average person applies over 120 chemicals to their face and body on a daily basis. We're trying to lower that average by ensuring every Blue Atlas product is composed with 96 to 100% naturally sourced ingredients and thoroughly vetted through well-researched studies. And then they have all the icons of stuff, so they're vegan, made in the USA, paraben-free, phthalates-free, cruelty-free, sulfate-free, and synthetic fragrance-free. So, as usual, let's start out first by taking a look at the packaging and pricing on each of these. The face cleanser is going to come in this 4 ounce or 120 milliliter, milliliter uh, sort of cobalt blue glass bottle with the black lid. White text is printed right onto the glass there, and this is going to come in at $25, or so they do have the sort of subscribe and save option that knocks the price down to $20. The moisturizer comes in a two ounce or 60 mil Jesus Christ, I can't say milliliter today. Two ounce or 60 milliliter glass jar. Same thing, cobalt blue with the black aluminum lid on there. And this is gonna come in at $35 or the subscribe and save will push it down to 28. And last but not least, the exfoliating scrub. Same thing as the moisturizer, two ounce or 60 mil glass jar, aluminum lid, and this one is $25 or 20 for the subscribe and save. So right off the bat, I will say their pricing is very reasonable in the skincare world for, especially for products that they're, you know, aiming to be like 96 to 100% natural, great ingredients, this whole thing. Um, you know, because I'm, I'm a Kiehl's boy, I do a lot of shopping over there, and comparatively, so like a, the two ounce moisturizer, this one's 35 bucks, that might sound like a lot at, at first glance, but like the same size jar of my typical moisturizer I might buy from Kiehl's would, I think is like 45 or 48 or, or for the same size jar. And 25 bucks a piece for the cleanser and the um, exfoliation scrub, I, that price is, is great. Um, I, skincare is kind of one of those things of like, you get what you pay for, generally speaking, you know, like the more expensive it is, the, it tends to be better ingredients, better formulas, and, and you have to use less and a little goes a long way. So with all that in mind, let's actually get into each product. We'll take a deeper dive into the formulas. I have some demo footage for each one and I'll uh, tell you all what I think. So starting out with the Volcanic Ash Face Cleanser. This says detoxifying and exfoliating. A daily face wash for a deep, satisfying clean. Removes grime while balancing your skin's pH. This exfoliating formula is suitable for all skin types from oily to dry. Uh, directions, apply a dime-sized amount of cleanser all over your face, gently scrub in a circular motion, and rinse off. Now this doesn't seem to be the case for every product, but at least on the face wash, they do give you a scent option. Uh, you can go with Classic, which is the one that I have, which is a, it's a very, I mean, natural scent. It reminds me of, if you've ever used any of like Sheer Revival's hair products, it's just kind of a little bit earthy, a little bit like maybe limey, very slightly limey. Um, it's just a nice clean natural scent that's not overpowering at all, uh, but you do also have the option of getting it completely fragrance-free 
or they have a coconut apricot scent as well, which that one probably smells great. All right, now in terms of the formula and the ingredients here, the key ones that are in this are the volcanic ash, which is it's bentonite, it's bentonite clay. So what that does, it helps to remove impurities. It'll help to kind of reduce the appearance of your pore size. So it is, it can be drying though, uh, but more on that in a minute. So actually, and they have a little blurb on their products about each of the kind of uh, main ingredients. So this for the bentonite says, volcanic ash has very fine particles that are highly absorbent. Truth, uh, it helps remove excess oil from your skin. Bentonite also aids in removing impurities and can help pores look and feel tighter. Hey, that's all the shit I just said, cool. Next up, we have lactobacillus ferment filtrate, which is radish root. When applied to skin, it's been shown to have a potent soothing effect that in turn strengthens the skin's ability to defend itself from aggressors. Research has also revealed that it may play a role in supporting the skin's microbiome. So that's pretty neat. And then we have pomegranate seed oil provides regenerative, antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and anti-aging properties thanks to its high levels of vitamin a, C, and K, protein, fiber, and essential omega fatty acids. Which is part of the reason that like pomegranate is one of those things that people call like a super food because it had all the goodies that are in there. So yeah, like I was saying with the bentonite, um, I've used several like face masks, clay masks that are based on bentonite and they do work really well at you know, removing impurities, helping with uh, reducing blackheads, reducing the size, the appearance of the size of your pores. Um, they work really well, but they can be quite drying. With that in mind though, um, this isn't as drying as I would expect. It says it's for all skin types from oily to dry. I think if you had a dry skin type, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this. So using this, you can see looking at the formula itself, it is nice and smooth and it's not really super opaque so that tells me that there isn't like a shitload of bentonite in there, which is a good thing. Um, and I will say that when using this, it does feel really nice on the skin. It does have a very, very gentle kind of foaming aspect. And it just, it feels like it's giving you a really nice, gentle clean and it rinses off easily. Now, it does leave my skin feeling a little bit drier than my normal face wash, say like a calendula wash or something does. Uh, and I have, I have what I would consider like a normal skin type. It's not very dry, but it's not very oily, somewhere in the middle. And this is a bit more drying than my normal one. But as long as you follow it up with a moisturizer, that's not really a problem. I just, I don't know if you have like very dry skin, I don't know that this would necessarily be the best pick for you. So with that being said, I think it's a good idea to talk about the moisturizer next, because in any skincare routine from basic to crazy a lot of steps, you need a good moisturizer. Now, the key ingredients they list on this one are mango seed butter, which contains an abundance of vitamin E and vitamin C, which may help to protect your skin from environmental stressors like sunlight, pollution, and even blue light from screens. Seaweed extract, uh, which is an antioxidant, an exfoliant, and hydrator. It helps to regulate oil production, exfoliate, brighten, and moisturize dull, dry skin. It seems a little bit weird to have like an exfoliating product in a moisturizer. That's a bit weird, but I do see seaweed extract in a lot of stuff. So I think it's more so for the antioxidant and hydration properties than it would be for exfoliation. And then we have uh, ascorbic acid or also known as vitamin C. Vitamin C is great for your skin for brightening. I use a vitamin C under eye serum, which is why my dark circles aren't nearly as bad as they used to be. Uh, so this here says vitamin C plays a role in regulating and maintaining your skin. Ascorbic acid is one of the forms of vitamin C found naturally and is the most biologically active. Now, taking a look inside the jar at the formulation on this one, you can see it looks a bit grainy, but it's kind of deceptive because it doesn't feel grainy at all. It scoops out nice and light, breaks down in the hands super smooth, and it doesn't feel oily at all. It absorbs into the skin really quickly and nicely. Um, getting this onto my face, it feels really nice on the skin and it doesn't leave you with any kind of, you know, glossy sheen or anything. It dries very matte and it absorbs and dries very quickly, which is a nice characteristic in a moisturizer. And the formula is, is balanced, so it's definitely one that you could use in the morning and at night. It's not like you would need, you know, a, a thicker, heavier moisturizer for at night, unless you wanted one, but I, I don't really see a reason for that. I think this would do the job just fine. All right, and last but not least, we have the exfoliating scrub. I want to save this one for last because it, they seem to have reformulated because the ingredient list on the website is 
quite different, well, several ingredients different, we'll put it that way, from the one that I have here. Um, I have had this for a few months, so, you know, it doesn't surprise me that it's possible I had a, a previous iteration of the formula. So this says, uh, an exfoliating face scrub that helps give your skin a gentle clean thanks to natural ingredients like hibiscus, jojoba, and bamboo stem. So, in the formula that I have here, um, the... Jojoba is like the third ingredient and it's jojoba beads, which is a really nice way to have a gentle exfoliation because they will give you that, um, but as they break down it also helps to add hydration and they aren't too abrasive, they're not too harsh of an exfoliator. The hibiscus flower extract is rich in anthocyanocides, also known as antioxidants apparently, uh, which are proven to help fight skin damaging free radicals and pollutants. Uh, the bamboo stem extract, I'm not entirely sure what that does. <laughs> because this is where things start to get a little bit different on the website formula. So now this uh, just has jojoba oil here, uh, rich in beauty boosting vitamins A, E, and D, plus antioxidants and fatty acids. It has very similar properties to our skin's natural sebum, which means that it's able to help penetrate deep into the skin for maximum nourishment. Definitely true, jojoba oil is wonderful for your skin. But now this is where I have to throw a little bit of shade because in the new formula, they have walnut shell powder as the exfoliant. <laughs> So the thing on the website says a natural eco-friendly exfoliant when applied to the skin it can lead to a smoother revitalized complexion. Walnut shell powder works to fight against an excess oil buildup in your skin. Yeah so historically there definitely have been plenty of exfoliator face scrubs out there that use walnut shell powder but like that's why the Kylie skin one had all that like bad press and there was a bunch of people pissed off about it. Walnut shell powder is not the best thing to use for exfoliation and the reason is because it's too abrasive. The little bits, I don't care how fine you grind it, a shell is still a shell. And the properties of it are just, they can actually cause like micro abrasions and like little tiny micro cuts on your skin which, you know, it might feel great when you're using it. It'll feel like you're getting a really nice scrub and like, yeah, deep clean, yeah. Um, but you really could be kind of scraping at your skin and it could go as to far as, as to far, as far as causing like little infections if it gets really bad. Um, so that's why most people in the skincare realm, uh, my partner included, who is a professional esthetician, will tell you it's probably a good idea to stay away from walnut-based scrubs. The same that you would stay away from the dog shit St. Ives apricot scrub. That one's probably even worse, um, to be honest. That, that's like, just don't ever, just throw that in a fire. Don't ever buy that shit. But walnut shell is another one that suffers from the same issue. So, um, with all that being said, the formula that I have here that does not have the walnut in it, I really like this. It's a great, gentle scrub. Again, it feels really nice on the skin. It doesn't feel too abrasive, so it's not like you're, you know, exfoliating with a bucket of sand. It works well, it, like, y'all, if y'all have beards uh, like I do, you can and should exfoliate through your beard as well. It can be a little bit cumbersome to wash out afterward, but it is, you'll see a difference. If you have, like, itchy beard, it'll help with that, and it helps to just get the skin underneath your beard, give that a little bit of attention. Yeah, so I, I really like the, the version of the formula that had the jojoba beads in it instead. So it, it is kind of a bummer to me that the new one apparently has walnut shell in it. So I, you know, take that for what you will. I, if they went back to this formula, I'd be stoked because I really, really like this scrub. So, God, I, I can't stop. Oh. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> it's a good thing it's carpeted down here so I'm not dropping glass onto hard floors. But yeah, so overall thoughts on the Blue Atlas skincare. 
I really like this stuff. Um, with the exception of the walnut debacle, I, I really like this skincare. I think that it, um, it works really well. It feels really nice on the skin. And, you know, some, if, if you're concerned about using a lot of natural ingredients, in, then this might be a home run for you. And I think that the pricing is very competitive. I think you're getting a good quality skincare here for similar or even cheaper prices than other good quality skincare that's out there. Also, as far as having like an exfoliating wash and an exfoliating scrub and exfoli there's there's definitely a tendency in the realm of skincare marketed towards men that like every everything's got to exfoliate the sand on your face yeah which don't get me wrong exfoliating is good i it is but there is such a thing as over exfoliating so you know if you're using this face cleanser which it is, I mean, like I said, it's very gentle. It's a little bit drying. I don't think, so like typically I use a milk peel toner after my face wash and that particular toner um, is an LHA and it has, it's like light exfoliation. So if I was using this as my normal face wash, I think I would not use that particular toner because that would just be too much exfoliation in one go. Um, and as far as the scrub, uh, a scrub is something that you want to do like maybe once a week. Um, you definitely don't want to use a scrub on the daily. That's just too much and your skin is going to get upset. So just it's something to bear in mind. Exfoliation is fine, but don't do it all the time. And definitely get a good moisturizer. Moisturizer is like the most important part of your skincare routine. Whether your skin is dry or normal or oily, it doesn't matter. You need a good moisturizer, especially if you have oily skin, actually, because there's it sounds counterintuitive, but if your skin is oily, it's actually because it doesn't get enough moisture from moisturizers, and so it overproduces oil as a way to try to moisturize itself. Uh, so you will, you'll find, even if your skin is real oily, you might not think like, well, I don't need a moisturizer because my skin's too oily. Wrong. Get a moisturizer, start using it, you will notice that your skin will start to produce less and less oil over time and it will balance itself. So anyway, with all that being said, uh, overall, I do really like Blue Atlas as a lineup. They did also send me their shampoo and conditioner, so, but I'm gonna save those for a different video because, I mean, obviously that's hair care. This is skincare stuff, so we'll separate those. Um, but I would be interested to try out like their deodorant and their under eye stick and stuff uh, just to see how they are because I, I really like the skincare. So that wraps things up for today's video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this and found it helpful. Please do stay tuned. We've got plenty more coming. Next up, we have the Ascension Texture Clay from Barbaric Style. So stay tuned for that, because that's coming real soon. I filmed that today too, because you know, two for ones and shit. If you haven't already, feel free to hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with everything. And as always, thank you so much for coming by and watching. And we'll see y'all at the next one.